Hey friends, it's Kristen Hilty from Making Math Make Sense. Today I'm going to show you another game for working on combinations to, that, to 10. This is called Memory Make 10. To play this game, you're going to use a deck of cards. You can use a deck of regular playing cards, or um, I like to use the cards from Box Cards and One-Eyed Jacks. If you're using a regular playing deck of cards, you are going to use your ace through 10 cards. Your ace is going to be your one. You can also throw your jokers in there. Your jokers would be your zeros. You'll see in my cards that we're playing with here, we actually have the numbers zero through 10 that we will be playing with. You are going to take your deck of cards and set it up just like you would set up the game memory. Now, I'm not going to use all the cards at the beginning. Depending upon the age level of your students, you can lay out as few or as many cards as you wish. 12 is kind of a nice number to get started with because it's not too many. To play this, you would play just like you would play memory. I'm gonna go ahead and turn over two cards. So I turned over an eight. Now. The next number that I turn over needs to match with my eight to make 10. So I turned over an eight and I turned over a seven. So I did not make 10, so I'm gonna turn those back over. My friend Brett is gonna go next and Brett's gonna turn over two cards to see if he can make 10. So he turned over a seven and a two. Did you make 10, Brett? No. Nope, so he's gonna turn his back over. Now, just like memory, I'm going to turn my 8 and my 2 because I know 8 and 2 make 10, and I'm going to get to take those out. Now, what's different here is you're now going to replace those missing ones that you took. So we're going to keep 12 until we run out of cards here. All right, your turn, Brett. Makes the game a little bit harder to do it that way. So he has a 0. And he matched zero with four, so he did not make 10. So I turned over a seven and an eight, so I did not make 10. So Brett has a nine and a three, so he did not make 10. Oh, and I have to think, hmm, where did we see that seven? I think. This was a seven and three makes 10. So I get to pull those off and then I would get to fill in those two spots with two new cards. Brett turned over an eight and a three. So he did not make 10. And I'm gonna turn over a four and a zero does not make 10. A four and a seven does not make 10. Oh, where did we see that three? Is this a three? Nope, oh, six and oh, I totally made a mistake. Brett got excited, well, maybe. <laughs> nope. <laughs> see, it's just as frustrating as regular memory. Nine and seven does not make 10. Now with this game of memory, you can change this. You can do memory make five and you can just use your numbers one through five and you can do combinations to make five. You can let kids add and subtract to be able to make that is another way that you could play this game as well. Um, in that case, I would turn over three cards, which makes it a little bit trickier to play, but you, you could play it where you're turning over three cards. Um, this is Memory Make 10. Kids like this. It's a lot of fun. Again, I like to play it with 12 cards out to start because that's a reasonable number to work with. If you want to make it harder, lay out your whole deck of cards and they're having to make it from the whole deck at the very beginning. Have fun playing Memory. As always, let us know if you have questions.